There are several ways to save a document in Adobe Illustrator, and they are all found under the File menu. Let's start with Save. If you have not previously saved a document, or if this is the first time that you've saved a document, then it will bring up this menu. If you have already saved the document, um, for example, you've made a change to it and you need to save that change, it will just automatically do that if you choose Save. This dialog box has several options. An AI file, or Adobe Illustrator file, is the native file for Illustrator. An EPS um, is an editable postscript. It also maintains uh, the vector editability. Um, a PDF, an Adobe PDF can. You have different options. You can choose um, to do that. And if you, if you choose Adobe PDF, you can choose um, a bunch of different settings that will build a PDF. Um, either to be web optimized or print ready or or whatnot, um, and these two are, are these three are kind of other things that I'm not going to go into. So typically, you want to save things as an AI file, and if you do that, you will need to name it, choose save, and then this menu um, will give you the option of saving it in the current format or saving it in a legacy format. A legacy format is an older version of Illustrator. Older versions of Illustrator are called legacy versions. And um, there is new functionality and sometimes you have trouble. Say you're sending something to print and they only have CS5 and you're in Creative Cloud, then you would want to save it as a CS5 Adobe Illustrator. Um, you can include linked files if you like. Create, you know, usually the the default settings after this point are, are pretty decent. Um, so you choose OK, and there's sometimes a warning menu that a warning dialog box that comes up and says that you know saving legacy formats is you might lose some things. If you do a save as, then that is going to give you the option to uh, name this something. I'll usually add. Uh, the letter B or you know some sort of variable depending on your your naming conventions after that and it'll save a copy of it same same options here um, you can create a new folder in that window if you'd like and you just click save to web optimize something you go to save for web this brings up an entire wizard um, it might not look like this it might look like this or like this um, but if you have the two up you can see the before and after notice that this has a transparency this does not over here is really where you want to be in the in the preset and the image size it has several drop downs um, gif is an older format it does have transparency it is web standard it is not high as a quality as you can get i prefer doing a PNG 24. I would recommend that the two options that you want to choose are between JPEG or PNG 24. Um, JPEG gives you the options of having low, medium, high, very high, and maximum. You can also do the same thing on a quality slider. Um, you can choose whether it's progressive or not. Um, and then you can choose sizes. Now remember that Illustrator is resolution nonspecific until you output. So um, depending on what you want to do there. If this is all vector, then I can actually increase or decrease the size of this and it'll scale the output of that without any uh, resolution loss. If there's an image involved in this as, as well, and I'm outputting that, I want to kind of leave this alone and I should have set my document up correctly in the first place. Uh, then you just choose save and it'll save that copy. If you want to choose PNG 24, you have the option of having a transparency or not having a transparency. Notice that checking and unchecking that box uh, changes that. And you can do the same thing here. You can have the art optimized. And you choose whether you clip the art to the artboard or not. That means if something is running off of the artboard, um, you know, you can, if this is checked, it'll just cut that off for you. Um, so if you've been working outside of the artboard, you want to keep that checked. Um, and then you just choose save and when you do that it's going to bring up this save optimized as menu which is very similar as the save as menu um, and it'll really just allow you to name it and choose where it goes and then you'd click save and it'll do that for you. The last thing which is a little bit uh, more rare is to export. Now if you want a PNG or a JPEG or, a, or an uncompressed file format like a TIFF um, or a Photoshop file for some reason, um, and you don't want it to be web optimized, then you can export it. It also exports in a bunch of other different formats, um, which are you know specific to a lot of other software reasons that you'd do that. But if you if you can't find it in the 
uh, file save or file save for web, um, then it's going to be under export. And then you would just choose whatever option and then go through the prompts. And that is saving in Illustrator.